If you're watching this and there's no red light, we're no longer live. Hey, hey. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Cindy. Cindy, I found my acrylic one. So we're going to do that. We're going to do kind of a marvelous. I also grabbed a couple of other plastic tumblers to kind of show what I was talking about. Hi, Melissa. So I already mixed up Poxy. Hopefully I have enough for the other one. So I'm just mixing up. We're going to finish the glow cup tonight and then we're going to do an acrylic tumbler. Double walled. And they're kind of marvelous. That hopefully I won't screw up. How's everyone else doing? <coughs> Excuse me. So, again, we're using the pink to pink glow on the one. It's dry now and nice and smooth. That's what I like about using powders. It's usually very smooth. So, I'm just mixing up what I did. And on the acrylic tumbler, we will uh, add some epoxy to it. I used about a spoonful of the glow powder. I'm going to mix that up real good because I don't want it to be having little spots. Hey, Linda. And we'll finish that one, which came out really good. Oops, and I just realized I didn't take the bottom. I don't think you can post a picture, Cindy. So you have to send it to me. And I just realized I don't have tape on the bottom of this. So I'm just going back over the spot. Yeah, now you can't, can't show pictures. So I'm just putting tape on. under the top, but I forgot to do the bottom. I almost forgot to take it off last night too, because I don't usually use tape. So, and I also pulled a couple of my um, other plastic bottles to kind of show what I'm talking about when I say if you can bend it, you can't use it. Okay. So this is the pink to pink glow. Like I said, I used about a spoonful. And then on the acrylic tumbler, which is, this is the acrylic tumbler. It is double walled. Oops. And you're not supposed to drop your thing in there. There we go. So, Cindy, I assume, hi, Brooke. I assume this is the one you were talking about because we were talking before. So, we're going to do this one. And I'm just going to, I'll put a layer of clear epoxy and then I'll put a drizzle. So I picked ivory and I am leaving it kind of thick because again, when you're doing something like this, you don't want it to be moving around a lot, just enough to kind of smear and look good. And then summer and tangerine. It's tangerine. So, yes, those are also candy corn colors, but they're also colors for um, the summer. So, 
So, hope everyone's doing good. I know more and more of us are going under shelter in place, which is not fun. However, we can still get out and walk. We can run, you can ride bikes, and you can uh, go fishing. As long as you stay six feet apart. So we're going to go fishing tomorrow. The other thing I did, and I'm going to turn that on so it's a little brighter. Uh, I'm going to plug this in, and that makes it a little bit brighter. So this is the purple surprise from last night. You see how it changes? So I found my sample that I had done, and this is what it looks like on clear basically. So look at the difference in color when you have a black and you have a clear. So there is a significant amount of difference. This has no real shift to it and this of course does. It goes between purple and blue. But look at the difference. And I'll post that. I'll show the difference in a picture. So a big difference in the color whether it's on a black background or not. So again, I'll, I'll post that. I'm going to go ahead and move you guys down. Yeah, big difference. So, which is awesome. I was doing some more cleaning and found the samples. So, I'm going to bend you down. This is the glow to pink to pink glow. And we'll finish that up again. I've got my pink. And this is just adding it like you would any other epoxy. I mixed up enough that I would have a good layer and this is going to help to um, smooth out the glow color. It's never perfect. The only way it'd be perfect is if you're using a spray. But spray glow powder glow doesn't come in a bunch of colors. I'm just making sure I get it on there. And I apologize if I miss anything, guys. Most of you know the answers. So anyone wants to jump in and answer any questions, please do so. So when you're applying powders like this, it always seems to be uneven. So you want to let it turn for a little bit before you worry about if it's not even. And I've used all of the powder. I'm also learning that if you put too much on, that's when you end up with problems with the lumps at the top and bottom. So, that's the pink to pink. And I'm going to, um, I'll turn the lights off here in a little bit. And show it's still fairly light outside. I am going to kind of pop some bubbles. And I just do this once. Most of the time when you're smoothing it, it gets rid of most bubbles. So I just give it one little. So then on this one, and hopefully you all can I'm gonna adjust you a little bit, maybe closer. This is the clear one. And I did tape off the top. I did not tape off the bottom. But I honestly am not going to epoxy the bottom. But it's got a lip. Yeah. I love my glow powders too. Um, so now I'm going to put some epoxy. You never want to drizzle powders without having a layer of epoxy. Because it will be too dry. It doesn't have to be a thick layer. But you definitely want to layer on there. Oops. I'm just slopping it on, guys. I do not have my turners bolted. That's why you see me holding it. It's just so I don't bop it up and down. And again, when you're using the powders, to drizzle, you don't want a ton of epoxy because that's when you get um, too much movement. You do want a decent layer of epoxy, 
but not too much. And that's plenty. That was not very much epoxy. I am making sure I got your coverage. So there's that and that. Put that away. Paper towel. So we're gonna let that set for a minute and move around. And uh, then we'll start drizzling. And I am going to see if I can pop bubbles. And I am gonna show you the other cups. Because a lot of times people ask, and you may not be sure. One of the ways to tell if you can use a plastic, plastic you really don't want to use, vinyl, uh, acrylic, you're okay. If you can, this one's hard, but I can push in. If you can do that, that epoxy is going to crack. This is another one I have, and this is even more. So you would not want to epoxy those. These you could do glitter on and just put um, the dishwasher safe Mod Podge and go with that. But I don't recommend. And the bottles, I thought I had some in here. The bottles everyone's getting from Walmart, the dollar ones that look like the bottles that you buy tumblers, those are a little bit more hard. You can do it, but again, it's personally not anything I would sell. If I can do that, I'm not going to epoxy it. But an acrylic tumbler is different. It's almost always a harder tumbler, and you're okay doing it. So, with that said, I'm going to start with the tangerine. And I'm using a smaller um, mixing stick. Oops. I'm not using the big, thick one. That's the thick one. Because I want to control it a little bit better. And as all of you know, I can manage to screw some stuff up, so we'll go with it. And I'm just going to very lightly do a line. And I'm only putting a little bit on the tip. And I am touching as I do this. So I am just doing a little bit, a very thin line. Tiffany! So, and I've got, like I said, three colors. So that I'm going to leave. Now I've got summer. And again, I left these fairly thick. You can let your epoxy sit up, or you can just, like I did, use quite a bit. Because it's going on a clear tumbler, I wanted a little bit better depth or darkness of color. So I'm just going to come up here. I'm just have no idea what I'm doing guys I'm just doing it that was too much I don't want that much I'm trying to keep my lines thin because I don't want them to spread out all that much so then I'm going to take hi Nancy I'm going to take my um, this is ivory for this one, I didn't use Moonshine mainly because Moonshine tends to get very transparent. So I use, I wanted to use something a little bit more than that. Although you certainly could use. And I'm just doing real thin lines. No rhyme or reason as to where I'm putting them. Other than I'm trying to keep them thin and break up some of the color. So, we've got a spot here. I'm going to add a little bit more here. So, that's literally all I'm going to put, guys. But I am going to find, maybe, find my heat gun. I said maybe. Oh, there it is. And I am, I know, guys, I never, ever, hardly ever use a heat gun on epoxy. But I do want a little bit of movement. And I do want to be careful of this cup, so I'm going to move it over. Away. 
and I'm going to take you guys off. Hi, Nanette. And I'm going to turn you around so you can see this. So this has got a clear coat of epoxy. And I just put thin lines. It's going to be a little loud, but I'm going to actually let it move around. And I am resisting the urge to go down on it and make it really move. Because I really don't want that. Like that. But I do want it to not be such a straight line. If I put a ton of epoxy on, this would be moving to more than I want. And it is starting to move. So I'm going to turn that off. Again, I don't, I want it to move. I really want it to spread out a little bit so it gets a little bit lighter. But I don't want it to move a lot. I really would have preferred that not happen. But it is an experiment, and those that know me know that I can usually screw stuff up. Like that one just did something. I just want to heat it enough that the epoxy will move around a little bit. It's like, I like that right there. That's what I like. So, that is all I'm going to use heat on. I did not do the bottom. And that is going to move around some. And because it's on acrylic, it will lighten as it moves around. So I really like that. That's kind of what I want. But we'll let it move around. So let me turn you back around. And let me... You guys there? I said something about connection. Is everyone there? Somebody give me a, hands, a thumbs up or something. Hello, hello. Hold on, I'm going to turn the light off. Okay, good. <laughs> I just want to make sure I'm going to move you guys down. I'm going to take the flash off, otherwise it messes with it. I'm going to move this. I'm going to unplug this because I do not want to get epoxy on my heat gun. I'm going to bring this back over. Yeah, we're not going back this. I don't know of any schools that means that are going back. So, I've got this. And turn it on. I'm going to unplug this light. And you'll see. And what I'm going to do is take you guys back off and turn you around. So you can see better. So it is moving around. You can see it's thicker. Still have a few small spots. You can see it is glowing. The epoxy will continue to move around some, and I'm okay with that. And most of the time, yeah. So there's still some small areas, but again, the epoxy will move around. And you're likely going to put something on it.
You can see it's not that dark in my room, but it does glow. And had I put a solid paint, if I had painted it as the background, hi Donna, instead of the um, inks, I probably would not have any of this. But it's still okay. okay guys, let me put this back in. Where are you? There you are. There we go. Let me put you back up here. Turn you around. Let me turn my light back on, guys. So, again, the acrylic tumbler I just did is that hard acrylic. The don't bend. If you have tumblers, if you have anything plastic you want to put epoxy on, and you can do that, you're asking for trouble. You might do it for yourself, but I would not sell them personally because if somebody grabs it, it's going to crack that epoxy. It's not going to get a good seal. And these are just ones I got at a local dollar store that I have. So, and this one has... A lid and this one does not this one's just a wide mouth which I like but I would not I, like I said I'd use the um, dishwasher safe uh, Mod Podge you can still do stuff but I just wouldn't use epoxy on it for those that joined late last night we did um, the purple surprise on black on a black background there it is dry you can see it change it does have some color shift to it here it is I found the one that I had done originally that's what it looks like on white or on brown tan big difference you, if you were here and you were looking at it you can see the shift of blue a little bit maybe you can but on here you really see it with the black background. So that's good. I will update my listing to indicate that. Um, we'll let this turn for a bit and see what it does. And if it doesn't do what I want, then I'll go in and mess with it. Because then I'll make it go everywhere as only I can screw up. Yeah, that purple is really nice. It's called Purple Surprise. It's a mica. Um, and it was in the new ones. It was in the 21 new ones. So if you got the 21, if you bought the whole pack, you have it. It's called Purple Surprise. There it is, just regular. And then on a black background, the cup was already black. Hi, Lisa. So this is Purple Surprise we did last night. And then here, it, here was my sample I did. Let me turn... There we go. This is on, it's got the backing. I didn't spray paint it white, it just has the backing on it. But a big difference in color on the black. Yes, so now you know, Cindy, you can epoxy yours. And it's starting to move some. Good. And then the glow will do that. And we'll figure out what to put on that, if anything. Um, I was looking at different things. I've been cleaning, so I've been trying to find stuff, but I didn't know where I had it. I've got my little shelf unit back here that I'll put my powders on, so that instead of me having to go to the containers, I'll be able to um, put them all up there and grab them. Hi, Mindy. So, I'll take you off again and let's see what we did. Oops. So this is a second coat of epoxy with the um, glow powder in it. And I'll post that a little later. Um, especially once it gets a little darker and it will glow better. And then this is the acrylic cup. And I just did stripes basically hoping it will marble. If it doesn't do what I want, I will make it do what I want. Um, Cause I got, I got this.
This is why I don't use a flame because I get a little too carried away. But I want it to move some. All I really want to do is get rid of the harsh lines. And that's all I'm going to do because it was starting to get smoky. Yes, the lid is... This is the lid. So the, um, the threads are inside, not outside. And this is the lid. And then it comes with a straw. Yeah, I just did this one tonight, Mindy. This is what I did tonight. Um, I put the second coat on that from last night. And then I did this. Cindy had asked about acrylic tumblers, double walled, and I just happened to have one. So I went ahead and shown that you can put epoxy on it. Yeah, I figured it was. I have a local place that has them for about the same price. So I don't have to pay shipping. And then Mindy, the other thing is we did last night, we used purple surprise on a black background. And then this is the sample I made on a, the just the backer. So, big difference on a black background. You get the shift a lot. So, and on this we used ivory, summer, and tangerine. And then this is pink to pink glow. So... All right, guys, I won't keep y'all on here. That was all I had to do. I tried to cut some more wood pieces so I could play with that. Unfortunately, the blade I have is not made to cut through that thick of wood. It's more of a finishing blade. So now I've got to get a different blade that will go through that so I can cut more pieces because I want to do a four-foot table and what have you. Yeah, the purple looks... It's called Purple Surprise, and it's surprise. It's a duo mica which means it shifts or has a shift unlike my color shifts which have three the duo only has two so this one is a blue and a purple and i am going to look into getting more of those where i got that they had more i wanted to make sure before i bought it um so i'll definitely be looking to get more of those for those that you are just joining you can come back in and i'll post it here shortly we finished the glow um the glow one and we did a, an acrylic tumbler, and I tried to do a marble. Um, we'll see how it turns out. I know not to keep looking at it because it's not been long enough and it will move. So we'll see how that comes out. And then I showed the, and I'll post here in a minute, I'll take a picture of the duo chrome and post it separately on the, on the uh, in the Facebook group so that y'all can really see it. So I will let y'all go. I will be back live Thursday. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but there may be a contest involved because I'd really like to increase the amount of people that watch. So think about that for Thursday. You could tag who you could bring in and there will be some kind of contest on it. So we will see you all Thursday. Thank you guys.